Hi there, and welcome to this PowerCrest video on Distance Relay Basics. Today I'll be looking at what is meant by a distance relay overreaching or underreaching for a fault. We will also have a look at overreaching and underreaching elements. And the question really that we will be looking at is what is meant by a distance relay underreaching for a fault as opposed to an underreaching element, right? Two different concepts. The one of unreaching for a fault considers the performance of a distance relay under a fault condition, whilst an unreaching overreaching element is another concept, which we will have a look at shortly. Right, so goes for overreaching and underreaching. And uh, here, let us have a look at what is meant by these terms then. Okay, firstly, Let's look at underreaching versus overreaching elements. Okay, let's start off with a healthy system. We have our RX plane, and to that we add a distance relay characteristic, which, as you can see, the distance from the origin to the 100% point represents the impedance of our transmission line, and we have the this dashed line being at a certain angle with respect to the horizontal, that angle being the line characteristic angle, which I have not shown here. So let's add in a quadrilateral characteristic for zone one and for zone two. As you can see, the zone one is set to 80% of the line impedance and zone two is set to 120% of the line impedance. Now, I've just chosen the quadrilateral characteristics. They're very frequently used for earth fault relaying and quite often also for phase fault relaying. I could have used, uh, say, the Mo characteristic or one of the others, but I just chose the quadrilateral uh, for the sake of illustration purposes for this video. We can then say that zone one is an underreaching element. <clears throat> Why? Because by virtue of its setting, it being set to less than the actual line impedance, it is an underreaching element. Similarly, zone 2 is a, no prizes for guessing, an overreaching element. Again, because by virtue of its setting relative to the line impedance, it is set greater than the line impedance. So overreaching, underreaching elements refer to the actual reach setting of that element relative to the line length or relative to the line impedance, I should rather say. Okay, let's look at underreaching for a fault. A distance relay is said to underreach for a fault if it sees the fault further than it actually is. Similarly, it is said to overreach for a fault if it sees the fault closer than it actually is. So now this may seem to be counterintuitive. Okay, so hopefully it'll become clearer as we move along. So underreaching for a fault. Let's look at a simple network, right? Here we have a network where we have a transmission line L1 protected by this relay. And at the remote end, we have a transformer connected with transmission line L2 and transmission line L3. Now, let's suppose we have a fault. Fault F located somewhere along the line and there is some fault resistance RF. Okay, if we look at the fault condition <clears throat> on the RX plane, we have again our zone one and we have our zone two, and we have our load impedance over here at the start of the fault. Because of the fault, the actual impedance moves from this point over here into the zone two characteristic and ends up at this location over here. However, the fault 
should have been at this point, right on the line characteristic, because that's where the fault location actually is. So we see that the fault ZF right consists of the uh, ML component M times L, and it consists of the fault resistance. RF over here. So this component added to this one <clears throat> gives us our ZF. Now ML actually indicates the distance along the line where the fault is located. So M times L is less than 0 0.8 times L, which means the fold actually lies somewhere within the zone 1 reach. Within the zone 1 reach, the fold should actually be located. But because of the fold resistance, right, it's actually pushed the fold out into zone 2. So the relay sees the fold in zone 2 and not in zone 1, which means this distance from the origin to the location of ZF is now bigger than from the origin to where the fault should have been. So the relay sees the fault further than it actually is. And therefore, for this particular fault condition, we say that the relay has underreached. Relay underreaches as it sees the fault in zone 2 instead of zone 1, where the fault actually is. And of course, the culprit here is the fault resistance. Okay, let's look now at what is meant by overreaching for a fault. Again, we have the network as before, and this time we have a fault located on line L2, and this fault is a bit further out than where the zone 2 um, reach would be. So we could say this fault would be in the zone 3 um, reach of the relay, zone 3 here also being an overreaching element. The fault condition, right, as played out on the RX plane, we have our um, zone 1 and we have our zone 2 characteristic as before. And we have our load impedance, which is where the fault starts from. And due to the fault, the impedance trajectory moves in this uh, kind of fashion and ends up within our zone 1 characteristic over here. The actual fault lies as we have said before, in the zone 3 region, right, which is this location over here, right, so that's where our actual fault location is. So we can see that the relay overreaches as it sees the fault in zone 1 over here instead of zone 3 over here where the fault actually is. And the culprit here could be mutual coupling incorrect settings, etc. Now, do not let's suppose the fault was on the transmission line within the zone 1 reach and the fault location was at this point over here. But due to fault resistance, the fault or the apparent impedance, right, the impedance as measured by the relay has moved out into this position over here. So the relay still sees the fault further than it actually is. The fault lies over here instead of over here. So, technically speaking, we can say that the relay has underreached. However, from a system point of view, the relay will still operate within zone 1 time and still operate correctly from a system point of view. Right, so every underreaching or overreaching um, Operation of the relay does not necessarily lead to an incorrect relay operation from a system point of view. Similarly, if I had a fault 
right the fault was over here in zone 3 but the relay saw the fault a bit closer than what it actually is let's say over at this point then technically speaking yes the relay has overreached for the fault but because it still sees the fault within the zone 3 characteristic from a system point of view the relay would have operated correctly okay so I hope that um, this video has um, explained and made clearer what is meant by a distance relay overreaching for a fault condition as opposed to an overreaching element right similarly that you'll now be able to understand what is meant by a distance relay unreaching for a fault as opposed to an underreaching element. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this PowerCrest presentation. Please do share, like, and subscribe to my PowerCrest channel. And please feel free to leave a comment as well. You're also very welcome to visit my website at www.powercrest.net. Thank you, and till next time.